Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video from Inside Wire. This is part four of the mini series on the UI access. In part one, you saw me unbox the product and discuss some additional items you might need. Then in part two, you saw me install all of the products. And finally, in part three, you saw me configure the product and test out the features on the UI access software. If you missed these parts, there's links popping up on the screen now to a playlist of the series. Feel free to check it out. Now normally at this point I'd go into an unboxing or another screen, however at this time I'm going to talk about the product itself. My first impressions, overall this product comes across well packaged and as I've mentioned before they are very Apple-esque when it comes to this. Within the packaging there is a variety of different mounting options for the Reader Lite and the Reader Pro to suit wherever you are mounting it. It is all a very simple minimalist design. The build quality of the products are good and they don't feel like they're going to break when you're trying to mount them. Now when it comes to installation, I've mentioned right at the start of the series, I've never used any door access systems before or installed one for that matter. So while installing this one, Ubiquiti's quick start guide makes it fairly easy to follow and straightforward for anyone to use. Other than getting the products mounted, as my DIY skills are not the best, connecting up the product can be done in about 10 to 15 minutes. The quick start guide also discusses a number of different products you can use to install such as motion sensors or buzzers, push to exit buttons. This allows the product to be used in multiple scenarios either in the home or the office. From a price point, the Ubiquiti Access costs $499 in the US and about €515 Euros in the UK Europe. Each item can be bought separately in the US store, however, at the time of this recording, the UK you're only able to buy the starter kit. In terms of comparisons against other door companies, I simply do not have the knowledge or the know at this point. I'd have to do some more research to see who the big players are in the market and how much it would cost to install. The user interface, like the rest of Unify's ecosystem, the setup is fairly straightforward. Once I plugged in the items into the network, they powered up. I was greeted with a, we have found these items on your network, would you like to add them? Then it's just a click of a few buttons and the reader's operational. A couple of downsides I found that the firmware takes a little bit too long to update. I think mine took about 10 to 15 minutes, which is not very long in the grand scheme of things. However, when you're waiting, this can be quite a long time. When you update any policies, the readers do take about 30 seconds to a minute to update. Again, not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Now, let me tell you, and if you're listening Ubiquity, my wish list of items I think would enhance the Unify Access product and add some really good features. Some upgrades are big and some are very minor tweaks. Number one would be an automated backup schedule. Currently the backups are taken manually. You would need to go into the software itself and click backup. For an enterprise, this just wouldn't work. They are constantly using this item, updating, there would be changes every day, so having an automated backup would be good. Number two, when importing users into Unify Access, they have an option for a CSV file. I was not able to locate where I can download a dummy file from. Currently, I would be uploading blind as I do not know what fields I would need to populate. Technically, this is another one, but I'll add it in here anyway. So an integration into third party systems for users. So where it would be some software or even Active Directory. Three, a very small one, but a toggle light for the light on the Unify reader. There currently isn't a way to turn this off. Well, I haven't found it yet. For example, if you install this somewhere in your house and that light is flashing, it would become quite annoying after a while. Um, and just a side note, it's not a quick flash, it's just a slow pulse. Number four, sending access cards straight from the system to a mobile. This would allow the user to enter the building on their own or even exit for that matter. Especially in these times, this would be a really good feature not to be passed between people and cards could also be sent to them in advance. Number five, I've been in buildings where you are not allowed to use the same card to access an area twice. You must tap in and out. Where this can become very annoying towards the end user, it does prompt them to ensure they tap in and out of every area. So this would be a good feature from a security perspective and all entries and exits would be logged. Number six, the G3 camera can be plugged into the UI access hub. However, it is only used in the Protect software at this moment. This is good for not having to run a second cable all the way back to a switch. However, I feel the possibilities are endless here. For example, you could use the motion on the camera, which can trigger the door to open for either an entry or exit. 
rather than needing a door sensor to do it for you. Number seven, both the G3 Flex and the UA Pro are just calling for facial recognition. This would be an amazing feature to have on your door access system. It may not work in all scenarios, but for example, a high security room may call for this. Now at this moment, I'm not quite sure if the hardware allows for this, but it would be a good feature to have in the future. So there you have it. These are the items on my wish list to unify. There are more, but I feel this would be a good start. There may be another further review down the line to see what's been updated and what's new. The Unify Access is new to the market and it's a really good start. I am impressed by this product. I'm excited to see what additional features are coming down the line. Let me know what features you would like to see in the Unify Access. Drop me your suggestions in the comments below. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.